Hello, I'm Dylan. Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Lyrics. Yeah! I think a lot of the planet agrees that Harry Styles is sort of a really lovely standard of, you know, other halves. I personally quite fancy him. I think he's a wonderful person, despite never having have met him. Um, and in my head, you can't treat me like shit if you're not Harry. This lyrically is one of my favourite songs because it's so unapologetic and so everything that I was feeling at the time. I wrote it with King Ed and Anya Jones and Anya, who I love so much, sort of sat me down. I came in with the um, overly emotional, easily replaceable, overthinking tall blonde who never got her shit together um, at the start of the session. I knew I wanted to write something around that and then do the you think you can do better or you think that you deserve better. And throughout the process of writing this song, everything that I said, Anya would be like, but is that what you would say to them? Is that what you want people, is that how you're actually feeling? Because I was trying to sort of go behind a little bit of a smoke screen, but ultimately what needed to happen is I needed to be completely honest with everything that I was saying. And in a way that I'm quite blunt and to the point, it just needed to reflect that, um, which is how the, because you're not quite Harry Styles line came about. Because I said it as a joke and Anya was like, yeah, we should use that. And I was like, <laughs> won't we get sued? <laughs> so this is a voice note from the day that we wrote it. We wrote it in May uh, this year. Oh no, yeah, this year. And it's a lot of, when I write songs, it's a lot of shambles and a lot of words that don't make any sense with a few things that I think might work. But this is... then slowly became <laughs> which is eventually how it came out but the lyrics are better does it make you feel a little bit better when you're messing with my head for pleasure you're not tall enough to act like that there's not really a lot of meaning it's pretty straight to the point and then you're loveless is that a symptom of being gorgeous Whatever happened to being modest, you ain't good enough to treat me bad. I think the song's a bit of a weird one because it is still technically a bit of a love song because it's complimenting the other person consistently. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's that I'm still a human and you have to treat me nicely. Um, and then the pre-chorus, which is my favorite thing that has ever been written is to you, I'm an overly emotional, easily replaceable, overthinking dumb blonde who never got her shit together. Which is pretty much <laughs> my entire existence. Chorus, you think you can do better. Must have hit your head too hard when you fell from heaven. Compliment. Because you're not quite Harry Styles. Backhanded compliment. Running around with your god complex, do you pitch yourself while we're having sex together? If you think you can do better, maybe I deserve better. Really, if we hadn't have put the Harry Styles line in there, it probably should have been called better. <laughs> but I like to be complicated. The second verse is, honest, yeah, you're the source of all my problems. Yeah, you're a piece of work, but I've fallen. It would be better if you loved me back. Which again, is a sort of big backhanded compliment. Because, you know, when you fancy someone and they don't, fancy you or don't express it to you it's quite disheartening but that doesn't take away your feelings for that person and then the middle eight is a play on the pre-chorus and it goes I know that I'm overly emotional easily replaceable even I can admit that but you're an egotistic maniac who never says the L word back I guess you've really met your match back into the chorus with my incredibly jazzy ending which is just saying better do you think you can do better does it make you feel a little bit better even? Does it make you feel a little bit better? Does it make you feel a little bit? Over and over again. The song itself is very straight to the point. I think that I needed to get all of those emotions out and in doing that, I got myself worth back because I definitely lost it by that point. And um, writing this helped me a lot with trying to get a bit of power back. Thank you for joining me once again on Behind the Lyrics. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel so that you can hear more from me. And make sure you listen to You're Not Harry Styles in the link in the description.
God, that was so fluent. I'm getting it. <laughs>